Um, this is not a surprise issue. Uh, it has come forward, as most of you know. Uh, concerns about regulatory deferral accounts have been raised by Auditor Generals in a number of their reports uh, as far back as 2009. Um, the Auditor General first qualified on the use of regulatory deferral accounts of hydro uh, in last year's public accounts. Um, that was the first qualification that came forward. And in that qualification, she noted that for a number of years, the previous government had been using self-directed rate-setting rate, rate activities um, which impacted the use of these accounts. And so throughout 1718, uh, again, as I mentioned, we certainly had raised concerns as well in opposition uh, about the, these accounts. And this concern has been part of the reviews that are going on uh, around hydro and around taking a look at how we provide stability when it comes to consumers and consumer electricity rates and how we also preserve the, the fiscal strength at BC Hydro. So how do we balance those two out and where do deferral counts uh, fit in with that? And so that has continued to be work that we have done over this last year as government when it comes to, to BC Hydro. Um, and so we have made a determination in these public accounts um, to make an adjustment, as I mentioned, $950 million in response to the Auditor General's previous qualification. Um, you will see that the Auditor General continues to qualify her opinion uh, in these public accounts, uh, but we believe the $950 million is a significant step. Um, it's a significant adjustment, and it will mean that we will continue our work with the Auditor General, um, with the Auditor General's office, with BC Hydro and with the BC Utilities Commission uh, to address these concerns. So this is a step, this doesn't fix the problem that was left uh, to us, uh, but it is a significant step that we have taken uh, to show that we recognize that it's a problem uh, and that we aren't ignoring it, that we aren't ignoring this issue, um, that we aren't ignoring the challenge that that then creates for future ratepayers uh, and for future generations. We are taking a serious step today and, uh, and beginning to address that.